Hello students, this is your third session of chapter 3 data representation. In the previous session we have discussed about how to convert from decimal to binary as well as octal. In this session we are going to discuss about how to convert from decimal number system to hexadecimal number system. Yes, what is the first step? The first step is we have to divide the given decimal number by 16. We have to divide the given decimal number, divide the given decimal number. by 16. What is step 2? Step 2 is to note down the remainder as well as the quotient. Step 2 note the remainder and quotient. What is step 3? Repeat step 1 and step 2 until we get 0 as a quotient. Repeat step 1 and step 2 until the quotient becomes 0. Quotient becomes zero. What is step four? We have to mark down the LSB as well as MSB. Step four. The first reminder is the first reminder will be the LSB and the last reminder will be the MSB. The hexadecimal equivalent is written from MSB to LSB. So these are the steps we have to follow while performing decimal to hexadecimal conversion. The first step is we have to divide the given decimal number by 16. Step 2 is note down the reminder as well as the quotient. In step 3, repeat step 1 and step 2 until the quotient becomes 0. And step 4 is the first reminder will be the least significant bit that is LSP and the last reminder will be the most significant bit that is MSB. The hexadecimal equivalent is written from MSB to LSB. Now let's solve some problems based on decimal to hexadecimal conversion. First problem is 559 base 10. We have to convert it into hexadecimal number system. So what is the first step? The first step is 
we have to divide the given decimal number by 16. So, what is our decimal number here? 559 is our decimal number. So, divide it, it by 16. So, 16, 3 is a 48 and 7 is the reminder. 16, 4 is a 64. So, 15 is the reminder. 15 is the reminder. But in hexadecimal, we are not going to write 15 as it is. So, in hexadecimal, as I told earlier in the previous session, we are going to represent 10 as A, 11 as B, 12 as C, 13 as D, 14 as E and 15 as F. Right? So, instead of writing 15 here, I am going to represent it as F. Okay. Next. 16, 2 is a 32. So, the reminder is 2. Next. 16, 0 is a 0. 2 is the reminder. So, now what is the next step? So, next step is we have to mark down the LSB as well as MSB. So, the last reminder is called as MSB. That is most significant bit. And the first reminder is called as LSB. So, what is the hexadecimal equivalent? It has to be written from MSD to LSB. MSB to LSB. So, the hexadecimal equivalent of 559 base 10 is equal to 2 to F. 2 to F base 16. 2 to F base 16. Problem number 2, 2545 two, base 10. Convert it into hexadecimal number system. So, what is the first step? So, divide the given decimal number by 16. So, our decimal number is 2545. So, divided it by 16. 16, 1's are 16. 9 carry. 16, 5's are 80. 14 carry. 16, 9's are 144. 1 is the reminder. So, you have to write the reminder in front of this number itself. So, write 1 here. Next, 16, 9's are 144, 15 is the reminder. So, we are going to represent 15 as F in hexadecimal number system. 16 zeros are 0, 9 is the reminder. So, mark down the LSB as well as MSB here. So, this is our MSB and this is our LSB. So, the hexadecimal equivalent of 2545 base 10 is equal to 9F1. 9F1. We have to write from MSB to LSB. 9F1 base 16. Next problem. 
987 base 10. So divided it by 16. 987 divided by 16. 16, 6. Uh, 96, 2 carry. 16 ones are 16. 11 reminder. So we are going to represent 11 as being hexadecimal. Next, 16 threes are 48, 13 reminder. So in hexadecimal, we are going to represent 10 as A, 11 as B, 12 as C, 13 as D, 14 as E and 15 as F. So what is the hexadecimal equivalent of 13? That is D. Next, 16 zeros are 0, 3 is the reminder. So mark the LSB as, as well as MSB. So this is our MSB and this is our LSB. So the hexadecimal equivalent of 987 base 10 is equal to 3db base 16. We have to mention the base correctly. Otherwise, you will lose 1 marks in your examination. Next. Fourth problem is 2989 base 10. So divide the given decimal number by 16. So 2989 divided by 16. So 16 ones are 16. 13 carry. 16 eights are 128, 10 carry, then 16 six are 13 reminder. So we are going to represent 13 as D in hexadecimal number system. 16 ones are 16, 2 reminder, so 2 carry. 16, ones are 16, 10 is our reminder. So we are going to represent 10 as A in hexadecimal. So A. 16, zeros are 0, 11 is our reminder. So this uh, we are going to represent 11 as A. So 11 as B in hexadecimal number system. So this is our MSB and this is our LSB. So the hexadecimal equivalent is written from MSB to LSB. So the hexadecimal equivalent of 2989 base 10 is equal to B A D base 16. So what is the first step while converting from decimal to hexadecimal? The first step is you have to divide the given decimal number by 16. Then you have to note down the quotient as well as the reminders. So in the step 3 you have to repeat step 1 and step 2 until the quotient becomes 0. In the fourth step you have to mark down the MSB as well as the LSB. MSB refers to most significant bit and LSB refers to least significant bit. That is the first reminder is called as LSB and the last reminder is called as MSB. Then you have to write the hexadecimal equivalent from MSB to LSB. So this is how we are going to convert from decimal to hexadecimal number system. Thank you.